Oh, there he goes. Hey, Pick for Tony here. As this is a very short video, I will play this uh, straight away, and then we'll we'll go from there. I swear to God, Mom. I see it. Is it by the tree? Yeah. Uh, so the subject. I swear to God. In question is between the the V here this sort of dark figure there or is uh um the head mom I see it. Is it by the tree? yeah okay so now we're going to go into into photoshop just to have a a read of the account first the two creatures that were running on my daughter's left hand side ran behind the big one that was 30 feet up on the tree. My daughter actually filmed the entire trail, and I don't know why, but she only films about 10 to 15 seconds. The creature is in between the V of the tree, and yes, he starts to move when I whooped at him. The reason why we left was because he started swaying left to right, and it started getting faster. And at that point I knew it was time to go because I was not sure if he was going to come at us. So these are a couple of notes which I made. So huge ears, um, which uh, Claudia told me that it has huge ears like humans, which we can't see from the video. But we have to remember that she's seen this in uh, in real time, in, in real life, and in the moment. It's not one of those videos where... As somebody films something or takes a photo of an area and then picks out um, you know images and figures in in the uh, in the photo or in the video and and also uh, very oddly it had an orangutan red color when seen with her own eyes but in the video as we can see it's like a, um, a black color or dark color but for some reason it was different um, different color when she saw it with her own eyes okay let's go to some enhancements so here's a stabilization there to god mom I see it. Is it by the tree? yeah so again we're looking in the in the view there to god mom I see it. Is it by the tree? yeah there to god mom is it by the tree? Yeah. Listen to the heavy breathing of uh, of Claudia's daughter. Er to God. Mom. I see it. Is it by the tree? Yeah. Here's a closer version. Er to God. Mom. I see it. Is it by the tree? Yeah. Er to God. Let's uh, make it larger. So again, we're looking at this black uh, area here. Air to God, Mom. I see it. Is it by the tree? Yeah. Air to. Okay. Um, a couple of things which I've noticed here. Uh, we do see some features. Now you know I, I've done videos on paradolia, and um, which I think a lot of a lot of. Uh, supposed um, Bigfoot videos are you know, these days are showing just paradoxia, you know uh, because they don't uh, they don't actually see the the subject uh, on the day because uh, a lot of times they will make it as I said before they will make videos or take photos and then um, go back and review and pick out things which they think could be a Sasquatch. But here, in this case, Claudia and uh, her, her daughter has actually seen something in real life, um, in real time. And so she, she's seen it and she knows where it is and she knows what it looks like. So that's that's the advantage that we have here. 
so we do see some features um, so what, what I'm seeing here is a nose around this area a mouth here we have an eye there of course yes it is very uh, blurry but like I say we do have some interesting features um, if I scroll forward frame by frame what caught my eye was this interesting um, object here so go forward here to me it looks like two fingers pointing downwards and and as it goes up you see what could be possibly like black or dark or dirty fingernails there Almost looks like eyeballs, but let's just scroll back and forth there. There seems to be some kind of movement there. Of course, it is very um, blurry and a lot of distortion going on. You know, I have to be honest here. Dear to God, Mom. When we look at the whole scene, the whole um, video um, here, we see a lot of distortion going on in, in the whole area here, here, and here also. Mom. The movement that I, I think that we can see is around this time, this, just there. But there is also movement going on in, in the whole area as well. So this is the, um, I guess you could say, problem that we have. Okay, let's go into a comparison photo, because we have a comparison photo. Well, first, well, well, well here's a print, uh, a photo of, a, of a, an alleged print from uh, Claudia. So this was a 13-inch print from the ones that ran across uh, my daughter. So that was before she started filming the uh, the big guy. And what she's done is uh, she's put a, a piece of card with with some you know asking people in the area if they've had any experiences. And she actually did uh, get some callbacks there. So that's really good. People having similar sightings and similar experiences in the area. So here's the uh, the comparison photo, and the um, as you can see, here's the the video, the still shot from the video, and here's the comparison photo sent by uh, Cla Claudia, and here we can see uh, I've lined up this a few uh, spots, this one here, and this uh, square kind of piece of bark here, and this white mark here and the tree here there's a dark tree that you can just about see there which is also in the comparison uh, photo as i click on and off there we can see that the um, the dark area is not in the comparison photo which is good but also we have to remember that the this comparison photo is not 100 percent accurate because certain things do move um, do move to the side in the comparison which is which means that it's not accurate so it means that the comparison photo has been taken standing um, f further to to the left than you know to the to the left side of the of where it was taken origin of where the video was taken so it's moved to the left because this has moved to the left and we see this um, this piece of greenery here which I believe is this one here so it's not entirely accurate, and it is very difficult to get an accurate comparison um, photo. I know that. So the question is: Is the is it still there? Is this is this um, figure alleged Sasquatch still in the comparison photo? Which would mean that it's just foliage. But we do know, as I mentioned, uh, Claudia did actually see the uh, the creature, and that she says that this is the creature. Okay, I will leave it to you guys. What do you think?